With the Sea of Thieves beta literally just one day over the horizon, it's time to get ready for your first real shareable experience in the world of Sea of Thieves. So here are six things you need to know right after the drop. So what's up everybody, how's it going, Lagundo here, welcome back, and today we're talking six things you need to know about the Sea of Thieves closed beta starting tomorrow. First is when the beta starts, and that's at noon GMT tomorrow the 24th. And that's the same time for everybody, you don't have to wait until noon your local time zone, which means 7am Eastern time, 4am on the West Coast, and I'll leave some conversions and a website to convert to your local time zone down in the description. Two, there's no NDA on this closed beta, which means you're free to share, capture, record, and stream everything you do in the game. This is notably different from the technical alpha, which was under a very strict NDA, which a lot of people actually, I'm surprised, but obeyed, which was kind of awesome. So this is going to be the first time you're going to be able to see and watch Sea of Thieves content online, including right here on the channel. Three, the beta is going to be a play anywhere title. Meaning Meaning, if you've gotten it on Xbox or Windows 10, you're going to be able to not only play it on the other platform, but play with your friends using the other platform as well due to the game being fully cross-play. In order to download the game, go to your Windows 10 store and download the Sea of Thieves closed beta application to be able to play on Windows 10, or go to the Xbox Marketplace and download the beta as well to be able to play. Once you connect and authenticate with your Microsoft account, you can switch between both platforms at the drop of your pirate cap. Four is some of the factions you're going to be working with. There's the Merchant Alliance who focus on cargo and resource trading missions, the Treasure Hunters which focus on treasure collection missions, and the Order of Souls which focus on VIP kill and storming fortresses in a raid level activity. We don't know how much of this is actually going to be in the beta and for a more detailed breakdown of each of these individual factions go check out our progression breakdown video posted here on the channel a little while ago that's the names you're going to need to know right away. Five, remember that there are different size ships for different crews. So if you're playing solo, you're going to be operating on a smaller ship, but the game is best with friends, and you're going to need four people for the largest ship currently available. Get your friends together and be more pirate by fighting on the high seas with the full crew. If you're trying to man a ship with less than four, you might want to downgrade to the lower ship just so you can actually man all the stations. And then six, remember we're streaming. We'll be starting streaming here on the channel as soon as possible with a big multi POV stream planned to end the night, which should be something to behold. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube so you get notifications when that goes live. And also for all of the other CFDs news and analysis we're going to be doing here on the channel. Super excited for the title, super excited to finally be able to share our experiences in the game with the closed beta starting tomorrow. All right, that was six things you need to know for the Sea of Thieves closed beta starting, well, tomorrow. Let us know if any of this helped you down in the comments. And as always, you know what to do. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you hated it, subscribe so you don't miss out on all of our Sea of Thieves coverage here on the channel. And I'll talk to you next time.